Hello, welcome to our Arcel Academy channel. In this training video, we will provide information about R code ER66 error code. This training video is intended for informative purposes only and prepared for experienced and certified experts in the elevator field. The assembly or maintenance personnel is responsible for taking all the necessary precautions to prevent any accidents during assembly. According to EN8120, the door contacts should be monitored and the main controller should give an error if any of them is bridged. Our code with the DFC board, it checks whether the door contacts are bridged at the end of the door opening time, after giving the door open command. First, make sure that the lift system complies with EN8120. If the system is not for 8120, please arrange below parameter. If the lift is designed according to EN81-20, please check the door contact connections as follows. If there is a single door or single semi-automatic door, landing door A contacts should be connected between terminals 120 to 130 on KBK 12 and 13 board. Landing door A locks should be connected between terminals 130 to 133 on KBK 12 and 13 board. Since there is no door B, terminals 133 to 135 and 137 to 140 on the KBK 12 and 13 board should be bridged. Car door A contact should be connected between KA1 to KA2 terminals on the IBCS if IBCS board is used and to terminals 135 to 137 in the inspection box if FX CAN board is used. Since there is no door B, the terminals KB1 to KB2 on the IBCS board should be bridged. Since the FX CAN board supports a single door, terminals 137 to 140 on the KBK 12 to 13 board should be bridged. For full automatic single door, the terminals 120 to 130 on the KBK 12 and 13 board should be bridged. Landing door A contacts should be connected between terminals 130 to 133 on KBK 12 and 13 board. Since there is no door B, terminals 133 to 135 and 137 to 140 on the KBK 12 and 13 board should be bridged. Car door A contact should be connected between KA1 to KA2 terminals on the IBCS if IBCS board is used and to terminals 135 to 137 in the inspection box if FX CAN board is used. Since there is no door B, the terminals KB1 to KB2 on the IBCS board should be bridged. Since the FX CAN board supports a single door, Terminals 137 to 140 on the KBK 12 to 13 board should be bridged. If there are double doors, for double semi-automatic doors, landing door A and B contacts should be connected between terminals 120 to 130 on KBK 12 and 13 board. Landing door A locks should be connected between terminals 130 to 133 on KBK 12 and 13 board. Landing door B locks should be connected between terminals 133 to 135 on KBK 12 and 13 board. Car door A contact should be connected between terminals KA1 to KA2 on the IBCS. Car door B contact should be connected between terminals KB1 to KB2 on the IBCS. For double full automatic doors, the terminals 120 to 130 on the KBK 12 and 13 board should be bridged. Landing door A contacts 
should be connected between terminals 130 to 133 on KBK 12 and 13 board. Landing door B contacts should be connected between terminals 133 to 135 on KBK 12 and 13 board. Car door A contact should be connected between terminals KA1 to KA2 on the IBCS. Car door B contact should be connected between terminals KB1 to KB2 on the IBCS. If door A is semi-automatic and door B is full automatic doors, landing door A contacts should be connected between terminals 120 to 130 on KBK 12 and 13 board. Landing door A locks should be connected between terminals 130 to 133 on KBK 12 and 13 board. Landing door B contacts should be connected between terminals 133 to 135 on KBK 12 and 13 board. Car door A contact should be connected between terminals KA1 to KA2 on the IBCS. Car door B contact should be connected between terminals KB1 to KB2 on the IBCS. If the door contacts are connected as mentioned, there might be a bridge is forgotten on that contact. To find that contact, you can observe DFC Inputs Output screen. To access the screen, press the Info button, go to the Input Output States screen, and press Down button until you see the DFC Input Output State screen. Give a call or open the door. On this screen, you will see the test. During this test, you should see the safety circuit contacts behavior like the table below. During the door A test, only 137 and 140 should be active, 133 and 135 passive. During the door B test, only 133 and 140 should be active, and 135 and 137 passive. If there are A and B doors on the floor and both are opened, two tests are done. During the first test, only 140 will be active, 133, 135, and 137 will be passive. During the second test, 135 and 140 should be active, and 133 and 137 should be passive. If any contact is active or passive outside of the aforementioned conditions, the test fails, and our code gives error 66. For example, during the door A test, if there is a bridge between 130 to 133, then all signals 133, 135, 137 and 140 will be activated as mentioned in the video, and our code will give error 66. For more information, please visit our website and check our user manual. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notifications to get notified about our new training videos. We hope to see you in our next Arkill training video. Goodbye!